In this problem, we're being asked to use the remainder theorem to find f of 3. So in theory, you could just plug into 3 and get the answer, but the question wants us to use the remainder theorem. So let's go ahead and do it that way. So to use the remainder theorem to find f of 3, we have to realize that f of 3 is actually equal to the remainder when you divide this whole thing by x minus 3. So all we have to do in this problem is use synthetic division to divide this function by x minus 3, and the remainder is actually equal to this. So this is going to be the remainder. That's what the remainder theorem says. Okay, so let's divide by x minus 3. So whenever you use synthetic division, the very first step is you switch the sign here. So this negative 3 becomes a positive 3, and then we put a little bracket here. And now we write down the coefficients of our polynomial function. So it'll be 1, 5, 5, negative 5, and then negative 6. And then we draw a line. All right, so the first step in the synthetic division process is to take this number and just bring it down. So you bring it down and so you have a 1 here. And then you start the multiplication process. So 1 times 3 is 3. Then you add these and you get 8. 8 times 3 is 24. Uh-oh, numbers are getting big. You add these and you get 29. Okay, 29 times 3, what is that going to be? And just be really careful here. 87, okay, 87. Then you add that to negative 5 and you get 82. And then 82 times 3 is 246. And you add that and you get 240. Let's just double check that. Bring down the 1. 1 times 3 is 3. You add, you get 8. 8 times 3 is 24. You add, you get 29. 29 times 3 is 87. You add, you get 82. 82 times 3 is 246. You add, you get 240. This is the remainder. Right? This is the remainder. And the remainder theorem says that when you divide by x minus 3, the remainder is f of 3. So f of 3 is equal to 240. And that's it. So that's how you use the remainder theorem to find a function value. I hope this video has been helpful.